The church was not built on stallions, the strong and the powerful. He chose lowly people, the fishermen. He chose normal people, ordinary people, just common people that would get up under the load. If you don't carry a load, if you're not willing to, to, to have a burden about church, about the kingdom, about souls, about the nation, you ought to get a burden about the lost and the multitudes of people who are godless. And if you're not willing to do that, I don't care how much talent you've got. I don't care how much power you've got. I don't care how wealthy you are. You're not worth much to Jesus. The first thing he looks for when he decides if he's going to use and choose you is can you get a burden? Can you carry a burden? It's a burden to carry Jesus. The burden of Jesus Christ. And I want today for you to see and understand that when you go overseas sometimes to third world countries, and Courtney, you've been with me to Haiti and different nations, and they don't, most people don't have a four wheel drive truck. They have donkeys in these poor nations. And you'll see at times a, a donkey that will be so loaded down with bags of, of wheat or hay or whatever on both sides that you can't even hardly see the animal because the load is so massive and heavy. When God says, I'm going to use somebody, he does not look for stallions. I've never seen a pretty donkey. He looks for somebody who can take a load and it just keeps coming, but you don't break. You don't change. You don't give up. You don't quit. You don't give in. I may not be a stallion, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win the prize. I'm going to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. This old stuff still works. Ecclesiastes 9 said, the race is not to the swift. You better listen to this preacher. What? What the kind of people that God chooses and uses are the people who will endure because there's going to come times when the load gets heavy. There's going to come times when the enemy whispers, quit, give up. You're going nowhere. Nothing's going to happen. You're going to utterly fail. You don't matter. You're insignificant. You're unimportant. You're nothing. You know what that old donkey does? He gets up under that load and he endures and he just keeps enduring and he may not be as fast. My, I've told you before, my favorite animal getting on the ark was the snail. Two of them at least. And I can see the zebra zipping by and I can see the lion lipping, leaping by, but, but, but here comes these two little snails. All I know is, Hazel, the Spirit said that door on that ark can't close till we get there, and we're going to get there. We may not be first. We may not be best. We may not be a pretty stallion, but we're going to get there. We will not quit. We will not stop. I don't care what hell brings to me. I am going to endure till the end by God's grace. I'm never turning back. Somebody better shout with me. Shout in the middle of COVID. Shout in the middle of all this junk. Shout, I will endure.